Hi there, my name is Steven. Welcome to the Michelin Tire Workshop. Today we're going to be going over how do I mount a tubular tire onto a tubular rim. Now most of the pros that you see today, they're riding on a system of tire and rim combination that's called tubular. Uh, so what does that mean exactly? How is that different from these other tires that I hear about that are called clinchers? And uh, can I use the two tires interchangeably on the different systems? Uh, we're gonna get into that right now. So. A tubular tire, if you look at the tire itself, is a tire that has the inner tube and the tire uh, all together. So when you buy it, it's just one complete package. You don't have to buy a tire and a tube. Uh, it's sewn together, glued together. It's uh, magically put together so that uh, all that you have is one piece. If we look at our tubular rim versus our regular clincher rim, you'll see that the clincher rim has got very high sidewalls. And uh, this is so that the tire goes inside and then presses out. Whereas the tubular rim, it's got just a narrow channel. And as you, pre as you pump up the tire, the tire is actually pressing into the rim instead of trying to expand laterally, okay? So today we're gonna go into how do I mount the tubular tire onto the wheel. And there are two different methods of doing this, okay? The first method that a lot of uh, people like to do because they're in a hurry and because it's easy is to use some tape. Uh, when you use the tape method, you put the tape around the wheel and uh, you mount the wheel and you pull out the little, the, the little backing on the tape. It's uh, very easy to do and uh, doesn't take a whole lot of time. But uh, the way that most pros do it and the way that I recommend that you do it is the, to use glue. It really gives you a nice adherence between the tire and the wheel. Now, so when you first get a uh, tubular tire, uh, it needs to be pre-stretched. Uh, they come so that they normally will fit on a rim very, very tight and uh, it's gonna take a lot of effort to put them on, so uh, we always pre-stretch them. We've pumped our tire up to about 100 PSI. As you can see, it kind of turns itself inside out. Don't worry about that, it's normal. And uh, going ahead and closing the valve stem, and we're gonna let that sit overnight. And we also need to apply some glue to the tire. And we'll put a thin bead around the tire. We'll take our paintbrush or a glue brush and start to spread that out, making sure that it's not too thick in any one place, but that it also has a good contact patch with the fabric part. So when you're mounting a tubular tire on a tubular rim, uh, there are a couple things you need to keep in mind. Uh, as you can see, this tire or this rim is used because we had a tire on it before and uh, it's not really necessary to remove all of the glue that's on there from before. If you want to, you can remove some of it if you feel it's getting too thick. But the important thing to notice is if you have any parts that are uneven. So you want to have a nice, flat, smooth surface. Uh, otherwise, when you put the new tire on there, you're gonna get some uh, imperfections in the way that the tire rides. Uh, if you have a brand new tubular rim, uh, it's recommended that you take a bit of sandpaper and rough up that surface. This gives the, uh, the new tubular tire something to grip to. So. Uh, we're going to go ahead and start uh, just at the valve hole, and we don't want to get too much glue in there because it makes it hard to get the uh, it makes it hard to get the valve stem in. So what I like to do is just take a little bit of glue and put it in between the spokes, not too much, but just enough to make sure that you're going to get a good adhesion. Grab your paintbrush and go ahead and spread that out. So we're gonna let that sit overnight and then we'll come back in the morning and then we'll be ready to mount the tire. We're gonna take our tubular that with the valve extender on it that's well adapted to the, uh, to the rim depth that we have. We're gonna go ahead and insert it in and stretch it out a little bit. Just kind of take that, stretch it up and over. And if your tire has been well stretched, you should be able to just put it on without really having to force too much. And that's the reason we like to have it stretch overnight, okay? So once the tire's on, you wanna make sure it's centered somewhat uh, by hand before getting started. And you wanna go ahead and pump it up to uh, maybe 25 or 30 PSI to make sure that uh, it's going to take its shape. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're gonna look for any place where it looks like the tire's not evenly seated on the rim. 
or that the middle of the tire is not seated in the channel correctly, okay? It actually looks like I've done a decent job on it this time, so that's good. Getting rid of any cobwebs, okay? So, another thing that uh, frequently will happen is because there's a little bit of extra material here around the valve, uh, you'll maybe get a little bit of, a, of a, a bump there. So what a lot of people like to do is they'll just take it and they'll put some pressure on that one area to make sure that it's nice and, uh, nice and flat. Okay. And at this point in time, we can take the wheel, give it a spin, see what it's looking like. Looks like it's uh, rolling pretty well. Pretty well centered, so now we go ahead and pump it up to our favorite riding pressure. There we go. Closing the valve stem. And now we're going to wait uh, one more day. So we'll wait for tomorrow. We'll be able to mount that back on our bicycle and uh, go out and tear up some road. I hope that was very clear for you. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below and we'll get back with you as soon as we can. Thanks a lot and uh, happy riding. Mm -hmm.